You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Job numbers came out today, and even though 225,000 new jobs were created in January, the unemployment rate edged up to 3.6% from a 50-year low of 3.5% as more people enter the labor force in search of work. That's the national story. Now for the reality of black unemployment. The black unemployment rate has gone up to 6.0%. The participation rate has dropped down to 62.6%, as you see in these charts here. And that's not what Donald Trump said in the State of the Union address on Tuesday. The unemployment rate for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans has reached the lowest levels in history. (laughs) African American youth unemployment has reached an all-time low. Joining me right now is Benga Ajilore, Senior Economist at the Center for American Progress. Doc, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. All right, so let's get right to it. Donald Trump loves to keep talking about how he's just been so amazing for black people. First of all, the unemployment rate of black people are double that of whites. Uh, but him and his supporters have refused to acknowledge that it's been going up, especially among black men. Please break it down for us. So one of the things we've looked at is since October of last year, it's been trending upward, almost half a percentage point up. And while some of it's been because of an increase, more people joining the labor force, labor force participation has been going up. We saw this job numbers that has actually dropped. And so it doesn't make sense that if the labor force participation rate dropped, that the unemployment rate still continues to go up. And so that gives us a concern. So you're so again, you're saying that Black unemployment has been trending up since October. Right. So half a percentage per, per point up. So when he keeps running around talking about how well black people are doing and how it's at its lowest, they're in denial about the last five or six months. They are. And but what's actually more concerning is that even if it's, you know, in October, it was at 5.5 percent, which was the lowest. But if you look at when the white unemployment rate was 5.5 percent, that was back in December of 2013. And no one was ha- talking about how great it was then. So it's like they're telling us that people should be black. People should be happy with the unemployment rate over 5 percent when other groups have unemployment rates below 4 percent. And that's consistently below 4 percent. All right. So let's talk specifically. Let's break it down. Uh, when it comes to what is it, what are the numbers looking like for black men, for black women, and then for black teenagers? So for black men and black women, it's uh, black men have a higher unemployment rate and consistently upwards of 5.8%, sometimes up to 6%. Black women have actually participated a lot more, so their unemployment rates are a lot lower. So sometimes last year, it actually got below 5%, but it's actually been going back up. But then for black youth, it's really high. It's upwards of 20%. Sometimes it goes down to 15%, but for black youth, it is really high. So while if you look at the over a long period of time that it might be low, it's still relative to any other group really high and something that's concerning and something that should concern the administration. So uh, so you talk, talk about those numbers there. Now, Donald Trump also claimed uh, in his uh, report, in his speech about wages and how wages are going up as well. Are we seeing that for African-Americans? So we are seeing wage growth uh, for African-Americans. But one of the things we have to think about is how is wage growth compared to other groups? And so we look at wage growth has been going up, but it's been going up at the low, lower end of distribution. But that's not because of federal policy. That's what's happening is that over the last number of years, a number of states have been raising their minimum wages. And that's had a positive impact on low end distribution and especially for African-Americans. All right. What else should we know about the unemployment numbers that the administration is not telling us? Well, one of the things we have to look at is we look at the ratio of basically the gap and look at the ratio of the black unemployment rate to the white unemployment rate. And since the number has been recorded since the Bureau of Labor Statistics, it's always been double the rate. So you go back from January 1972, basically almost 50 years later, that has always still been double and that's never closed. And so when you talk about, you know, something to be uh, honoring or saying that's something to celebrate, the fact that that black unemployment rate's always been double the white unemployment rate and has never closed is very concerning. It's not something to celebrate and should be the focus of policy. 
All right, then. All right, sir. Well, I certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, and uh, look, look, this is why you got to have real information uh, as opposed to the lies that he tells. So, Benja Ajilo Ray, a senior economist for the Center for American Progress. Thanks a lot. Thank you for having me. All right, folks, back to our Gold Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Are you looking to enhance your leadership or that of your team in 2020? Well, you might want to join Dr. Jackie Hood Martin's newest online course and mastermind group, Successful People Think. She will be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. Of course, she's a certified John Maxwell uh, instructor, and so uh, you want to take, you want to uh, take advantage of this. Uh, the office expires February 28th. To register or to start the online course today, go to www.live2lead.com forward slash Leesburg right here. Live the number two lead l e a d dot com forward slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.